Today I'm going to share with you an experiment I've been planning for a while where I'm going to try and grow potatoes hydroponically. Now, if you've ever seen anyone try and grow potatoes hydroponically online before, you will know that they tend to fail. And they tend to fail in three reasonably reliable ways. They either get no tubers, they do get tubers but they're all cramped up, or they do get tubers that aren't cramped up, but they have a funny texture to them. Now, I think this system has two advantages that will overcome those problems. The first is that it provides space for the potatoes. Potatoes are big plants and they need a lot of space above and below ground in order to grow. The second advantage of this system is that it provides mechanical resistance to things called stolons, which is essential. So the way new tubers, new potatoes, grow off a potato plant is that these things called stolons, which are sort of like little shoots, grow out from the top of the roots, sideways, laterally, and then when they encounter mechanical resistance from the soil, they start what is called tuber initiation, where they swell up and eventually you get a whole new potato. Without mechanical resistance, that won't happen. Without space, it might happen, but it's gonna be very, very limited because those tubers just don't have room to grow. So I think this system can overcome those two problems. What we have here is two buckets, one on top of the other. The top one is what I'm going to call my grow bed. So this is where the potatoes are gonna grow in this soilless medium, which is made of coconuts. So this obviously provides mechanical resistance from the soilless media, because this is gonna push on those solons, and space. Here, here. What we have as well is holes in the bottom of this grow bed, which are covered in a wire mesh, which should stop the media falling through, but should allow roots to grow through into this basin, which is gonna be filled with nutrient solution. Now, I wish I could say that I came up with this myself, but it's actually based on a method that I found in a book called A Complete Guide to Soilless Gardening by a chap called William Jaricki or Garicki. This book was published, I think, in the 1930s. So this method is quite old. And they were very, very successful with this method. They did it on a much larger scale, on a scale of about a hundredth of an acre, and they grew a yield of 166 tonnes a hectare, or the equivalent of 166 tonnes a hectare, if they could have scaled it up. Obviously this is a much smaller scale, but it's just a proof of concept really, to see if it will work, this sort of hybrid, hydroponic, soilless media culture system, will it work for growing potatoes? I think it will. This particular method was also replicated on a similarly small scale, uh, I think in the 50s, by a chap called Hoogland, and they, they did get some tubers growing. Uh, this, it was a very similar system to what I'm doing, but they had a bigger basin. That was, I think, the main difference. It was a similar size. This is about 15 litres. And they use a similarly sized um, grow bed for their experiments. But the basin was, was much, much bigger. But I think this should work as a sort of proof of concept and hopefully be a method where people can uh, copy it to grow hydroponic potatoes in, in their gardens or in their homes. This is pretty small, doesn't take up much space. And if this works, hopefully I'll be able to scale it up uh, and try and replicate the results that Jericki found uh, about 90 years ago. And then hopefully from there, improve it with uh, modern techniques like a aeroponic system in the basin maybe, or mix up the growth media, see if that makes a difference. Very exciting. Um, I hope I can get back to uni soon and start experimenting with this stuff. But for now, this will have to do. Hopefully it works, and if it does work, I should be back soon with an update on how they're getting on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then.